Hi there, this is Kim Phoenix of BuyHealthPLR.com and today I want to show you how easy it is to upload a PLR squeeze page um, that you purchased from myself or any other PLR supplier and how you can um, install that and upload it to your website. Um, but first of all, before you um, before you do anything, if you haven't already done so, make sure you watch my other video uh, entitled uh, How to Add Your Autoresponder into your Squeeze page uh, PLR template uh, because you'll need that because um, this is a big part of growing your list. So once you've done that and you've saved it, now you'll be in here. And so what I would do is I'm, I'm in my C panel for my website. I'm going to scroll down to File Manager. And once I'm in my file manager, I'm going to go into my public, public HTML. And then just scroll down in the public HTML section here. And I'm going to choose, this is the domain I'm going to install this on here. And now, at this point, what you want to do is, I've actually already created a folder called Sales. Um, so if you don't already have a folder, you'll want to do that. And to, it's very simple to do that. All you do is click New Folder here and give it a name and then create new folder okay I'm not gonna do it because I've already done that but if you don't have that you'll want to do that um, so if you look in here I actually already have a separate um, folder I have one on anxiety and I have one on burnout so this is for a different product this one is for a burnout product this is the one I'm actually gonna go in and again to create these folders it was just a matter of creating new folder naming it creating new folder and then you're done so so if you haven't done that already, you'll want to do that. Um, so within here, so there's nothing in here right now, but this is where I'm going to upload the squeeze page, okay? Um, so what I could do, what I'm going to do here is I might want to name it, I might even want to give it the name squeeze page um, in case I decide to um, put anything else in here later, any other, um, like my sales page, that sort of thing. So I'm going to call it squeeze page. I'm going to go inside of there. And now the next thing I'm going to do is I am going to upload the HTML of the squeeze page um, that I already have where I had um, also here. It's let me just I just have to bring this screen up a little bit. Sorry here. So I'll just go back a little bit just to show you where this is. So I'm in my opt-in thing here. Here's this PLR squeeze page um, template job burnout. So I'm going to find it in here. There it is. So it's index HTML. That's what I want to upload. So I'm going to click on that and it will upload it. And then you'll see down here it's complete. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm also, I also need to upload my images. Um, because I'm doing it by cPanel, it's uh, a little bit slower. So I'm just going to you have to do one at a time here. And I'm going to add in the other one. This one, I'm not sure if I need that one, but I'm gonna add that in. All right, and you'll notice there's this one here. I don't know what this one is. I don't need that one. I'm gonna actually just delete it right now. So you don't need to do this. I'm just deleting this because this is in my template that should not be there when you, if you purchase the burnout PLR pack. Maybe it won't do it quite now, but I'll get rid of that after. Um, so now we're going to go back uh, to the other page. So once everything is complete and uploaded, we're going to go back. We're going to click on this link here. And it will take us back into where we were. And you'll see the index.html is going to come up as well as the two images. One thing you need to do, though, is you actually need to put these images into a folder. So I'm going to call it images, and that's what you want to call it like this. We're going to create a folder and then I'm just going to move these into there. Okay, I should just be able to drag and drop. There we go. And let's drag this one and drop it into there. There we go. Alright, so we've got that all set. So now if we go to the page, um, I'm going to type in the uh, the address for this the on the website, and you will see what it looks like. So just give me a second to do that. 
So you'll see this is the URL that I um, installed this on. So you'll recognize these were the folders that I created. It was in sales and it was in burnout and then I did squeeze page, right? So when you type that into your browser, this is what you see. And if you scroll down, you'll see, so this is the squeeze page. One thing you'll notice is because this is my template and what you are purchasing, um, I have not put in my opt-in code here. As I said, that would have been added in Composer. And so if you've done all of that before, um, before you even watch this video, your opt-in code box will show up here. Mine simply isn't here because I didn't um, change my template because this was just a sample video that I wanted to show you. But like I said, in order to see that in action, what you'd have to do is um, take a look at uh, my other video that shows you how to add in autoresponder code. And then once you upload it to your website, you will see your autoresponder code here. And then it'd be a matter of just people just entering in their name and, and stuff and um, growing your list that way. Okay, take care. Bye-bye.